possessed photocopier. Lia's heart swelled with pride as she looked at the shining plaque on her office door, Leah Thompson, senior graphic designer. It was her first week at Marlowe Designs, a renowned graphic design firm. The office was everything she had ever dreamed of, modern workspaces, a passionate team, and state-of-the-art equipment. One machine in particular had caught her eye, the large, brand new photocopier that stood regally in the corner, boasting its advanced tech capabilities. On her first project, eager to impress, Leah decided to use a photocopier to reproduce some sketches. She placed her detailed drawing of a park scene on the scanner, hit copy, and waited. But when she retrieved the paper, instead of her park scene, it displayed a derelict playground with rusted swings and an ominous, shadowy figure standing in the background. Chalking it up to a technical error, or perhaps even some kind of office prank, she tried again. The second copy was even more disturbing. The shadowy figure was now closer, its eyes glowing faintly. Leah called over Cassie, a friendly colleague, to see if she knew what was going on. Cassie, having used the machine earlier without issue, was equally baffled. Deciding to test it, Cassie copied a blank page. The result sent chills down their spines. A close-up of the shadowy figure, its hollow eyes seeming to look right at them with a message below, I see you. Panic set in. Leah decided to report the issue to it, thinking the machine was malfunctioning. But the it department found no anomalies. The following days grew stranger. The photocopier spontaneously started up, churning out images of the dark figure in various scenes. Outside the office building, inside someone's home, behind a sleeping figure. Each image was accompanied by haunting messages like closer and closer, or watching always. Word spread, and soon, other employees experienced the same eerie occurrences. Some even claimed to see fleeting shadows in the office corridors or felt a chilling presence near the photocopier. Intrigued and terrified, a group including Leah, Cassie, and a few brave colleagues decided to investigate the machine's origins. Digging into its purchase history, they learned it had been acquired secondhand from an old publishing house that had gone bankrupt, Crimson Publishers. Further research into Crimson Publishers revealed a dark past. The owner, a man named Victor Blackwood, was obsessed with occult practices. He believed he could capture and bind spirits to objects, using them to gain power. It was rumored that he performed a ritual involving a particularly malevolent spirit and a photocopier, aiming to reproduce occult texts. But something went horribly wrong, and the spirit became trapped within the machine. Shortly after, Crimson Publishers met its downfall, and the cursed copier was auctioned off, eventually landing at Marlow Designs. Realizing they had to break the curse, Leah and her team sought the help of a local medium. She confirmed the presence of the trapped spirit, furious and seeking release. Under her guidance, on a stormy night, the team performed a ritual. The office was filled with chilling winds, flickering lights and echoing screams. The photocopier worked to life, producing image after image of the shadowy figure, each more agitated than the last. After what felt like hours, the medium chanted the final words of release and a blinding light emitted from the copia. The winds died down and calm was restored. The next day, the photocopier was removed and safely stored away, ensuring it would never again see the light of day. Marlow Designs returned to its former glory, but employees often shared hushed stories of the cursed copia. And Leah, she learned that some things from the past shouldn't be reproduced. In her designs and life, she moved forward focusing on originality, innovation, and the promise of a brighter, shadow-free future.